Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. So today I am reviewing a, another Chesapeake Bay candle for you. You may have watched my previous review. I've literally filmed it just before this one but spread out the, uh, the reviews on my channel. So hence why I look exactly the same. Um, filming them one after the other. I've just reviewed Lemongrass and Eucalyptus which I'll link down below just in case you haven't watched it. But I am now reviewing Strength and Energy, Pineapple and Coconut. So this again was $7.99, the same as the previous one. And I got it in the sale for £6.39. It's not much of a, a big deal, but a little bit of a, a discount there. It's 96 grams. And just for anyone that didn't watch the last video, just in case you don't want to go back and watch it, just to let you know, Chesapeake Bay Candle and Yankee Candle are now owned by parent company Newell Brands. Excuse me looking down. Can't remember all that off the top of my head. I'm reading it off my iPad. Um, so they announced the decision in 2019 to consolidate under one roof. Um, so basically Chesapeake Bay candles, they're 100% toxic free, made from high quality oil and soy wax. And it looks like, where was it here? So they all consolidate under one roof of the New Jersey Corporation Home Fragrance Division. So when you go on the UK Yankee Candle website, you've got Woodwick Candle at the top, Yankee Candle, and you've now got Chesapeake Bay. So this is a new addition. And I saw them, I did see them online. I wasn't too bothered about really trying them but then I, f I went to the store um, and they was in there so I gave some of them a cold sniff and I thought why not get a couple small ones just because they was on offer so I managed to get the couple for like £13 why not give them a go someone's got to review them so let me have a look at the scent notes for this one so before I get onto the scent notes this is also at the moment of filming as well fragrance of the season so it's got 25% off of it so this comes in a medium candle, small candle and large candle. Um, it also comes in a large three wick candle. Let me just click on the small one here. So this one's actually $5.99 on the website at the moment of filming and I paid $6.39 for it, but I don't know if that was just an in-store offer. Don't know if that was a fragrance of the season offer. So we have got top notes of verbena, bergamot, grapefruit and mango with mid notes of pineapple, coconut, ozone and melon, with base notes of orange blossom, amber, musk, vanilla. So, the first one, this beauty, this one I really, really liked. Unfortunately, this one, it just didn't perform quite as well. It was, it was a little bit more on the weak side. It was not as strong as um, the one that I'd already reviewed. I keep forgetting what that one's called, lemongrass and eucalyptus. This one wasn't quite as strong. So the main notes that I got through on this one, I would have to say is the pineapple and the coconut were definitely coming through. I feel like my lights just got brighter. Hmm. That's strange. I don't know if it's because the sun's gone in. Ignore me. Um, so pineapple and coconut, maybe a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of the musk, but it was just very, very weak compared to the other one. I would say for a throw rating, probably looking at maybe five, maybe four. Like the other one filled this whole room that I'm in and the door was open and I walked up to it and I could, I could smell it straight away. This one just wasn't as strong. I had to be basically hanging over it to, to really get a decent smell of it. You could definitely smell that there was something there. There was there was definitely the pineapple and the coconut. It was just so, so weak. So unfortunately for me, one good one, one bad one for the experiences at the moment. This one I personally wouldn't recommend, whereas the lemongrass eucalyptus I would. But yeah, this one... I'm probably going to go with a four out of 10. I think even that's still being generous because it was very, very weak. So I'm still interested in trying some others. I would maybe like to try the larger sized jars. But yeah, for me, I've had one good one. I've had one bad one, but you can't win them all. Some Yankee candles are awful. Some are, are great. Same as Woodwick, same as any brand. Sometimes you do get a bad one. But yeah, for me, pineapple coconut, it was a bit of a dud. Not one that I'll be getting again. It was just far too weak. Um, like I say, I feel like coconut can be quite a strong scent as well. But on this occasion, this one, not for me, wasn't strong enough. Didn't fill the room. Um, it still, it performed nicely. Like it, it didn't tunnel. Small mushroom on the top, no soot. But yeah, just for the scent side of it, unfortunately, it just wasn't strong enough. So not one that I'd recommend. If you have got any Chesapeake Bay scents that you think I should try, then let me know. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll get a new review up for you soon.